Hello guys, welcome to the next session of developing e-commerce application from scratch using Angular and Spring Boot. In the last session, we discussed on how we can fix our second uh, defect, which was related to the home page, and uh, uh, like which was related to the uh, images that we have added onto our home page grid. So it was giving the issue with the different image height and widths, and we have fixed it. So you can just check out that particular session. In this session, we are going to fix our third defect, which is related to the login functionality. So I'll just explain quickly what is the defect is all about and how we are going to fix it. So home page is nothing but a browse page. So user can browse all the products on the home page. And if user is interested, then user can uh, click on the view details. So this particular home page, we want to allow every single person who is logged in or who is not logged in so this is just a browse uh, functionality or browse page so that is the reason we just want to allow every single person uh, irrespective of whether it, uh, he or she is logged in or not so we want to just uh, allow this home page to the every single person but right now our application is not allowing this home page to access if person is logged in or uh, if person is not logged in so as of now, I'm just logged in as an admin. Let me just try to log, log out. And now if I just restart the application, you will just see that it will, it will redirect me to the login page. Let me just try to change my URL and let me just uh, keep it as a local host 4200, which is my homepage URL. And let me just hit the enter, but it is not allowing me to the uh, uh, access the homepage. It is just redirecting me to the login page and it is just saying that just uh, log in first and then only you will be able to access it. So now the reason behind this is like we have missed one condition. So let me just show you what condition we have missed. First of all, let me just try to explain you what exception we are getting. So let me just go to the IntelliJ and if I just go to the IntelliJ, let me just clear the console and now let me just try to access the home page. And now if I just go back to the IntelliJ, we are getting one exception and that exception is basically saying like, so it is basically saying that malformed JWT exception. So it is saying that JWT string must contain exactly two period and uh, two period of characters, but it found zero. So over here, the thing that we are doing wrong is we are just sending uh, the token as a null so if our if there is no any token we should not send it to the back end so what we have to do is like i'll just quickly explain on the uh, ui side or maybe on the inside my vs code so if i just go to the interceptor so interceptor we have previously added when we are we were looking into hawt token and role based authentication mechanism so if i just go to the auth folder Inside the auth folder, we have one file that is called, called as a auth interceptor TS. So if you're not aware about what is the interceptor, so interceptor is a basically, you can just consider, consider it as a mediator, which will add uh, like, which will add the headers or which will, uh, which will get execute just before making request to the backend. So in this interceptor, what we have wrote it, we have wrote uh, the logic to add our header so that it can just like before going to the backend it will add automatically header uh, to the to that request and that header will contain the jwt token right so this is the logic that we have added over here so now if you just go to the interceptor and if you are just following my code on the line number 29 you will be able to see that there is one uh, function that we are calling that is called as a add token and that add token basically takes the token and again the token we are retrieving on line number 27 on line number 27 we are just calling this dot user auth service dot get token so get token function we have already created if i just go to the get token function what it basically does is it basically just go to our local storage and it uh, uh, like retrieves the jwt token and it returns to the interceptor but when user is not locked in, then this time there will be no any token present into our local storage. That is the reason this function will return us the null. 
and what we are just doing is our token is null and we are just trying to add that null token to our uh, request so that this is the only thing that we are doing wrong over here so let me just do one thing let me just try to uh, console.log over here so that you will get some better idea so let me just try to do console.log request like this so we what i am just trying to do is i am just trying to do a console.log uh, a request just before we are just going to the back end so i am just trying to check out like what is the request which is which we are sending it to the back end and now let me just go to the browser and let me just try to open the console and now let me just try to do one thing let me just hit my home page url so now on the home page url we are getting the console which is saying of http request if i just go to the http request and if i just go to the headers you will see that there is one uh, again there is one array that is called as a uh, headers so if i just expand it you will just see that authorization so authorization is the header that we are just adding to contain the uh, jwt token if i just expand this authorization as well you will see that key is equals to authorization and value is equals to bearer space null so over here we are just using this text as a null and this is the only thing that we are doing wrong over here so what we have to do is we have to send our jwt token if it is present and if it is applicable otherwise we don't want to add this header so if like jwt token is not present or if it is not applicable then don't we don't want to add this particular header that is called as a authorization so adding the header and all like is handled inside our uh, inside our uh, add token function so if i if i just go to the add token function you will see that we are just adding the header that is called as authorization and we are just adding the text which is called as a bearer and we are just appending the token so what we have to do is we have to add a null condition like if token is null then we don't want to add this particular uh, authorization header so what we have to do is just before calling this add token function we have to just check one condition like if token is present then and only then we want to call this add token function so we can just uh, add one if condition over here like this and now let me just save this code now what we are just checking is we are just checking that if token is present then and only then we just want to call the add token function that add token function is taking care of the adding the token and authorization header and if the token is null or empty then it will not add the authorization header and our code will run pretty smoothly now let me just save this code and let me just go to the browser let's see what happens this time now when i try to access the home page so let me just give localhost colon 4200 and yes this time i am able to access the home page like let me just refresh it and yes we are getting access to the home page even though we are not logged into the system now let's try to log in to the system and let me just first of all try to log in with admin123 and admin at the rate pass and yes uh, like we are getting expected output let me just click on log out again and we are still getting the access to the home page let me just try to log in with the user like normal user raj123 and password as raj at the rate 123 and let me just go to the home page and yes still we are getting the access like we we are we are logged in as a user and we are getting the access to the home page which is perfect working perfectly fine let me just click on log out and yes again still we are getting the access to the home page so i think we have fixed this particular defect and um, this this is this was really very small thing but again this was really very important thing because home page is the landing page of our e-commerce application and we should not make any compromises with our landing page because it is the very first uh, page that user is going to see and we just want to make it uh, applicable to all the users 
irrespective of whether he or she is logged in or not so it is looking perfectly fine and um, like it is working as expected so i just uh, thought to create this session on these particular things and we have fixed our third and last defect if you have any defects in your mind or if you have any uh, uh, like uh, uh, if you have observed anything in into anything wrong into our application let me know into a comment section and we can just create some defects and we can fix it uh, into a later sessions so i hope you enjoyed this session and i'll see you in the next session